If you'd like to follow along on today's conversation, please hashtag Bonsai Webinar on Twitter or follow along at, at Bonsai Internet. We always love to hear your thoughts about today's webinar. Uh, for those of you who have joined us today, Step 2 has a special promotion which includes 20% off their Internet Innovation Awards report for 2015. We will be giving out the special promotion code at the end of the webinar, as well as one lucky webinar viewer will receive a free copy of the report, so please stay tuned. We will be choosing someone at random. If you guys have questions, feel free to type them in the question pane below. We will be taking questions throughout the webinar. However, we will only be answering them towards the end of the presentation. Um, but feel free to send us all your questions. Great. So I'd like to start off by introducing our SharePoint analyst and presenter, Rosa Jamal, to explain how BGC Engineering was able to save over 250 resource hours and receive recognition from Step 2 Designs with the innovative Hands Up app. Thanks, Shanta. So yeah, my name is Rosa Jamal and I'm a SharePoint analyst uh, working here on the solution delivery team at Bonsai Intranet. Bonsai is an out-of-the-box intranet built on top of SharePoint 2013 and Office 365. To tell you a little bit more about uh, our product, we're, uh, like I said, it's a, it's a out-of-the-box intranet that provides you with the core intranet capabilities uh, that you're looking for from an intranet. So we have things such as news, events, we have a document portal, we've got directories like the employee and location directory, and, and much more. And because Bonsai is pre-built, it comes without the risks and costs associated with uh, custom-developed intranets, which is the typical process for, for developing your intranets. It's really flexible, so if you, you have unique needs like BGC Engineering, uh, you can build customizations on top of Bonsai in order to further maximize the value of your internet. And today, we're going to be talking about how we worked with BGC Engineering to build a simple, straightforward tool that leveraged their existing internet and provided them with a business va uh, value by solving their short-term staffing needs. So today, we have Marika de Groot here to share their story uh, from BGC's perspective on the development of the Hands Up app. So I'd like to introduce Marika here. She's a junior engineer at BGC Engineering. They're a consulting firm that provides uh, professional services in applied earth sciences. They're based here in Vancouver and have over 300 professional engineers, geoscientists, technicians, support staff, all working out of offices that are in the U.S., in South America, and across Canada. So Marika was pivotal, really, to the development of this tool. She was able to share with us firsthand the problems that they were experiencing with trying to utilize their staff. We've worked very closely together to make sure that the app that we uh, built would address their resourcing needs. So we're going to talk a lot about the development of that app today, but we're very grateful to Marika for, for being here. So thanks for being here, Marika. And thank you, Rosa, for having me and for the great introduction. Great. So let's go to the agenda for today. So uh, as Trent mentioned earlier, we received, um, uh, we were commended for the Hands Up app from Step to Internet Innovation Awards. So I do want to spend a little bit of time to talk to you about Internet Innovations and the, the uh, uh, commendation that we received. Uh, but primarily today is about sharing how the Hands Up app was created so we can show you an example of how to extend the value of your intranet. 
Uh, and of course, we'll leave some time at the end for questions and answers. So as Chantal mentioned, please add your questions to uh, the question box and we'll get to them at the end of today's session. So let's talk a little bit about internet innovation. There is a lot of great work being done around the world to make intranets more innovative. Uh, the reason for this is because it's greatly understood that these innovative ideas will increase adoption of your intranet. They'll promote productivity so you can add a lot of uh, unique work tools to your intranet to get people to use the tool as something that that will improve the productivity of their daily work. But it also fosters communities. So no longer do you just need to go to your internet to get news, events, to look at any policies or procedures from your organization. It really can be a platform to foster that communication, to foster those communities to, to connect with each other, to break down those barriers uh, across different offices because oftentimes um, there's offices that are either across Canada or around the world. And step two, uh, created Internet Innovation Awards as a way to share these ideas uh, around the world because it's really difficult for us to be able to get insight into other organizations' internet. So step two created this ability for those ideas to be shared. So a little bit about step two. They provide thought leadership and internet strategy and design to organizations across the globe. They actually produce a lot of best practices, and we here at Bonsai Internet use this to guide our, project de our product development and, and our framework. Um, so to give you some examples about the Internet Innovation Awards and what they're looking for in terms of innovation, there's a few examples here of categories uh, from the different areas of innovation that they're, that they're looking for. So today we're going to describe to you the Hands Up app um, and the innovative idea that we came up with to address resourcing needs at BGC. But this report is filled with a lot of other in innovative ideas from around the world of people that are incorporating these uh, tools into their intranet to engage, engage their employees. Uh, and as Chantal mentioned, there will be one lucky um, viewer today who will get this re uh, report uh, and will also have that promo code available for you if you choose to, to purchase it and get a sense of all these other ideas that are happening around the world. So I'd like to share with you what Step 2 thought about the Hands Up app before we get into the details of it. So here are some quotes from some of the judges. Emily says that I love that this is addressing a core resourcing issue in a simple and accessible way and is industry agnostic. We were really happy when we, uh, when we read this quote because really resourcing is um, an issue that is experienced by many organizations. It doesn't just need to be a consulting firm who's focused on sort of billable hours trying to you know, get their resources to be uh, at full capacity. So as you're listening to how we develop this tool and how this tool works, Think about how it might work for your organization in terms of utilizing uh, your staff. Um, we had another quote here from Sam Marshall. He said it was a very well uh, executed solution to a clearly defined problem. This really is an internet that reflects a new way of working. So when we read this, we, we recognized that you know, we did build a tool that we placed on the home page of BGC's internet. And really this showed, like I said earlier, um, this showed that the internet is not just a place to get information, that it really can be a place where you can access tools to help you with your day-to-day -day, uh, work. So I thought I would just share with you two of the quotes that, that uh, we received based on the, con uh, the commitment that we got from this uh, submission. So needless to say, we feel really honored to have received this recognition and we're really happy that we're able to um, share the 
the Hands Up app that we built with you today. So without further ado, I will start into what the Hands Up app is. So we worked really closely with BGC Engineering to develop the Hands Up app. We did this to help them better utilize their available resources for their short-term staffing needs. So as a consulting company, they have two different types of staffing. One is short-term tasks and one is the more longer-term project-orientated uh, uh, tasks. So their definition of short-term tasks was any task that could take a couple of hours to a couple of days to complete. So this was really anything that you know, could be easily completed by someone within a short period of time. For anything that required any more effort, uh, this would be part of a bigger resourcing decision. So this would be part of you know, assigning people to a specific projects. So we were really only focused on helping them utilize their resources for these short-term tasks. And since their work is primarily focused on projects, it's common for one project to be really busy when another one is slow at the same period of time. And since they have offices across Canada and US and, and South America, like I mentioned, it was really important for them to be able to distribute their workload. So we quickly realized that there would be such a positive impact to their business if we could build them a tool that was centrally accessible. We, we wanted to build it on their intranet's homepage so that all of their offices could easily um, access this, this tool. So that's a bit about the background in terms of what we built. We're going to go into how this all started and I want to pass it on to Marika so she can share with us the journey that they went through. So Marika, passing it off on to you. Thanks so much, Rosa. Um, thanks for the introduction of the app, but also for defining short-term staffing. The first topic that I wanted to talk about is why is distribution of tasks and resource allocations important? What really drove us to make this tool? The first thing to start off is, is BGC is a consulting company. So clients pay BGC for our time and our knowledge, and we function by billing our time to our clients. So ultimately, our product is our time. With that being the case, resource utilization and staffing is one of the most critical aspects of our business, where the goal is to maximize chargeable hours that we're billing to the client. At BGC, though, specifically, this is really important because we have something we call a one-team approach. That means we don't have product centers, and instead, we work as one entity, all of our nine offices working together. For example, the project that I've worked on for the last three years has people from across Canada, including staff members from the Vancouver, Kamloops, Calgary, and Halifax office. And we also have members from the Santiago, Chile office working on that project. The one team approach was selected by BGC because it allows us to more readily match staff capacity, so people with available time, with project needs. And it also allows us to bring our best resources together for each project. Ultimately, this results in a better product for our clients, but it also benefits us, BGC, by allowing us to spread out the work evenly among our resources. So Rosa has already introduced the problem we are facing, which was distributing short-term tasks. But I just want to hit on what we had as a method beforehand to distribute these short-term tasks before the app. So before there was no standard method for distributing these short-term tasks. Instead, it was a multi-step process that was inefficient and really just wasted people's time. It would involve talking to your PMs, office managers, or just other staff to generally get the word out that you were offering to help or you needed staff and resources. It would involve many different communication tools such as email, talking in person, and instant messaging. 
This inefficient trial and error process involved multiple people and could not be relied upon quickly and directly or and to directly connect the resources. But the most important part is that this time spent looking for tasks or looking for resources was unchargeable. So we're not maximizing our chargeable hours. There were two issues that really brought forth this idea that disturbing short-term tasks was needed. The first was a term called gel time. So this was a term created by the BGC's core management team in 2013. They defined gel, term, gel time as the time that's wasted when a staff member is waiting on a resource so they can continue with their work and their tasks. Typically, that was a short amount of time, part of a day, a couple hours, uh, to a couple of days. The core management team recognized that gel time was one of the challenges that we needed to address in order to maximize our chargeable hours. And one method that they brainstormed to reduce gel time was to distribute the workload more evenly. The second issue was surrounding the junior email distribution list. So this list was also developed in 2013 and included all employees with under five years experience from all nine of our offices. It would work by juniors emailing the group whenever they had available time to take on something new or wanted help with a task. This email list was widely used over the period of a year that it was active, and it really demonstrated to us that we needed a process to distribute these short-term tasks. However, this email list wasn't really the right tool for us because it was inefficient. And it was inefficient for us in two ways. The first being that an email list directs the request to all of our junior staff. That means that juniors that are really busy are taking extra time out of their day to read an email and adding to their unchargeable time. The other was that uh, there was no visibility above and beyond junior employees. So that means that intermediates, seniors, admin staff, they couldn't use this resource and help distribute these short-term tasks. From these two issues, we defined the problem, and then we moved into a solution, the Hands Up app. So Rosa will now talk to you about what we created. Great. Thanks, Marika, for that explanation. So I'm sure um, people who are on the call today can um, resonate that what she's saying really resonates with, with people because uh, a lot of times we try to um, create solutions by, you know, using email to, to help us with that. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to kind of briefly go over what we developed to resolve some of the issues that they were facing at, at BGC. So we, de we developed the Hands Up app. So it's their short-term staffing utilization tool. So in order to develop this, we knew we needed to create a centralized location for managing their short-term uh, needs. So what this means is that there was no more mass emails that were coming in, uh, no more emails that weren't targeted to, to particular individuals. Someone could now go to the internet when they had time to look at this information and see what's happening. And it also, by having a central list and location in the internet, we were able to provide the transparency to see what was going on. So we could see which projects needed help. We could, we could see who uh, was available uh, to provide that help. We also created the app to be a conduit to improve uh, employee productivity. So they have multiple offices. It's really hard for someone to be able to go knock on, on people's doors to say, hey, I need, some, I need some work or I need some help. So we created this app so that they could improve their productivity by getting access to you know, uh, people who needed help and we could, we could provide that conduit for them to, to be able to start that connection there. And we also streamlined the communication with this app. 
So we're able to build an integrated communication system right within the app. So there's still email that's happening, but it's it's not a mass distribution of, of email. It is to specific individuals. So let's show you how it, it works. So the Hands Up app gives you the ability to put your hand up when you have available time. So say myself as an engineer, I've got you know a few hours available and I want to, to help someone out. I can go to the app and submit my free time. And what we did was create a simple form. We didn't want to make it too complicated where someone with available time could put in a description maybe of their expertise or a description of the time that they have available. They can indicate how much time they, they can they can give. So remember this is about short-term tasks. So anywhere between 2 to 16 hours that can be completed re relatively easily. And they can also indicate when they have time until. Once they complete this form, it basically goes into a centralized list. So anyone looking for assistance can go through that list and look for people who have particular expertise and reach out to them to find the appropriate person. The next thing that we built in is the ability to request assistance for tasks that you need help with. So if you go to that list and don't see anyone with available time, you also have the ability to create your own request asking for assistance. And again, we just built a simple form for people to fill out. So you can put in a general description description of the task that you need help with, how much time you think it will take, and when you need it to be uh, completed by. And this form also goes into that app, into the central list, so anyone can go through it and see who needs uh, any help with the task and put their hand up to uh, offer their assistance. So two really simple forms that go into a list that becomes easily accessible from the home page. So the reason why we put this on the home page is we wanted to show that this is a business critical tool that helps with their staffing. And it allows people to see it very quickly when they access the home page because they might not be thinking about, you know, oh, I need some help with, with something or I have available time. They might not be thinking about it to go to the app to put in a request or fill out one of those forms. But by having it on the home page, it makes them think about it. So if they do have too much on their plate, they might think about it when they go to, to this home page to see who's offering their time and engage with their fellow colleague. So we use some real estate on the home page just to show up to five entries here and you can click on the see all button to see the entire app. So we have a dedicated site for it. We just wanted to roll up a few items here to show what was happening. And really adding these kind of tools to your home page can really help with, add, uh, with that adoption of people going to your, to your home page or going to your internet in general. So I talked a little bit about communication. So again, we no longer have this email, uh, email communication built in. What we did was we really made it simple. So we put this put your hand up button right into the form. So if you're going through the list and you see a task that someone needs help with, you can easily put your hand up. And as soon as you put your hand up, that person who's put the request in will get an email notification that someone has volunteered. So really easy for someone to ask for help and someone to offer their assistance. This is also fully integrated with Skype. So BGC uh, uses Skype and right from within the app, you can start connecting with your colleagues. So if you see someone has available time, you can connect with them right through the Skype integration. And this is really great because, again, it's, it's breaking down those boundaries for physical office locations. So Morega can ask someone in the Santiago office for assistance, and they can go right through the internet to, to contact that individual. So we really didn't want to make it complicated because we felt that people could organize themselves if we gave them some simple tools. 
So that's basically the app. It's a really simple process to add requests into a centralized area for people to put their hands up and, and help out. And that really helps them distribute their workload and something that's really important to, to their business, as Marika mentioned earlier. So with all that said and done, we built in a time recording system here as well. So we made this not too complicated as well. Basically, anytime someone volunteers for a task, they can come in and record their hours for the tasks that they complete. And through that, we're able to easily visualize all of the work that's been completed as a result of this tool. So again, we didn't want to make it too complex because being a consulting company, they have their own timesheet system uh, that they use. Really what we wanted to see here is how people were using the app and how much of their resources were utilized through this tool. And we wanted people to easily be able to see their progress by visualizing it through this graph uh, interface here. And in just over a year, they were able to utilize 250 hours of resources, which to them is equal to six weeks of full-time work. So that's, that's a really big impact for their organization. That is something that shows that a simple tool like this can increase their profitability and make it easier for their team to connect with, uh, with one another. So what I've described to you is the simple, straightforward tool that we built on top of their existing intranet and made it available to them on their homepage for quick uh, and easy access. I want to pass it back on to Marika here just to finish off with talking about what it looks like today for them and what the improvements were. So Marika? Thank you. So there are four main improvements that came out of implementing the tool. The first one is that Hands Up streamlined the communication process for short-term staffing needs. And ultimately it created one clear method for all offices, all employees to use to address these needs. The second and third reason is connected. Um, the first being a reduction in non-chargeable hours. Hands Up allowed staff members to easily connect with tasks, which reduce the non-chargeable hours spent trying to search for resources. But in hand with that, it also increased chargeable hours by taking someone's time that was otherwise unused and charging it to the client. The last part, which is I think one of the biggest benefits for BGC, is the promotion of connections between individuals and staff. This really enabled people to connect with colleagues that they have maybe never worked with before or maybe never met and really fostered this one team approach that BGC has. I've asked for feedback from a number of different people uh, on the app and continually a lot of the feedback is that they love that it connected them with someone they hadn't worked with before. So again, this is one of the big benefits for BGC. At the end of the day, BGC is really happy to have one tool to communicate these short-term needs. It's easy to use and it helps improve our time efficiency. So thank you, Bond IT, for helping us create it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Marika. Okay, so how does this extend the value of your internet? So that's what we're here to talk about today. So if I can just uh, recap everything that we've talked about. The Hands Up app is something that addresses an obvious business need. So like I said earlier, you know, utilizing resources is not limited to a consulting firm that relies on, on billable hours. There's all organizations face this challenge, and this is a simple way in which you can address that, that business need. It also fosters community, and Marika touched on this with their one team approach. It allows, your internet is a place that allows for people from across the organization, whether it's within the 
the same physical office or across offices uh, in other locations to connect with each other and to be able to support each other in a day-to-day -day way to help each other complete tasks and get the work done really is a way to foster that community, uh, community feeling. It also increases profitability if you are a company that relies on, on billable hours because it uh, provides transparency into uh, who is busy and who, who isn't. So it allows you to match your resources accordingly. Uh, you can utilize the resources that you have uh, in-house to, to meet the needs like we've been uh, talking about already. This is simple and straightforward. The app that we built, we intentionally didn't make it overcomplicated because if people are provided with a simple solution, they're able to uh, organize and coordinate themselves after, after that. And really, by having it a simple and straightforward application, you get some quick wins very easily. And finally, I've been mentioning this um, uh, throughout the presentation, it really drives adoption because having just news and events on your homepage is, is good, but providing tools that make people's jobs easier uh, is something that's going to drive people to the internet and you can, you can go through these kind of quick and simple ways in which you can enhance the value of your internet. So we hope that we've been able to provide you with um, some ideas on how you can further extend the value of your existing internet. We hope that we've got you thinking about some processes um, that you have right now that could, you know, use some kind of, um, you know, uh, some kind of development in order to streamline those, those processes. And we also hope that we've shown you with this example that we've shared with you that, that with a little bit of creativity and a little bit of light customization, you can build an innovative tool that will extend the value of your internet. So with that said, I want to thank you for your time and I want to open it up to questions now. All right, thanks so much, right, Marika so much. and Rosa. That was great. So we have a few questions here. So I'm just curious, uh, we have one user that wants to know, how long did it take to build the app? So that's a, that's a great question. So this was a um, app that was, in terms of uh, development, was um, light. Um, on the dev side of things. So when you incorporate sort of the you know requirements um, and testing and all of that, I would say that this was roughly around a four to six week uh, engagement. So it it's, it wasn't complicated. Um, so yeah, that's that, that's how long it took us to to develop. Okay, we have uh, another person that's asking, can this app be purchased in the store? That's a great question. So here at Bonsai Internet, we're always looking at uh, evolving the product and introducing new capabilities and features. Uh, at the moment, this is not something that's part of our standard offering, but it is something that we are considering for, for the future if there is a need. Uh, so if you, if you do find that this app is something that is um, that resonated with you and is something that you'd like to um, look at further, uh, we have contact details at the end of this presentation. You can contact us for further discussion about that. Great. Can you give any other examples or ideas for someone who wants this type of app for their organization? So there's lots of ideas in terms of like um, having ideas or creating innovative um, solutions right from within your intranet. So I'll use an example um, that does come out of the box uh, in, in our bonsai offering. Uh, we have an events 
module that is um, basically allows you to communicate uh, events that are happening in your organization as well as a RSVP module that's built right in. So what we've seen um, people start to use that events module for is for training sessions. So you know if we use BGC engineering as an example, they have, the, at the core of their business is health and safety. And so you can use uh, functionality that's right out of the box, but you can be creative with it and start using the events module as your safety training uh, center. So you can offer training sessions right from within, um, right from within your internet and have a whole um, safety area dedicated to, uh, to that. So there's lots and lots of things that you can do with the functionality that comes out of the box with Bonsai, um, but with some light customizations, really there, the, the possibilities are, are endless. Great, thanks Rosa. Thank Did you, you guys uh, use any incentives or gamification to get users engaged in using the app? Um, were users nervous to post on the internet homepage at first? Marika, maybe this is for you? Yeah, definitely. definitely. I can take that question. Um, so getting people engaged, we had a, a scheme worked out with how we were going to launch Hands Up. And part of that was training sessions at the very beginning. We offered about three training sessions. The other was a company-wide presentation that introduced that we were working on this app so people knew it was coming before we had even launched it. The other aspect was also um, getting people involved with creating it. So we were always looking for feedback with what people wanted on the page. Again, getting people to know the app before we started it. Uh, addressing the question of whether there was hesitancy, hesitancy to post, uh, generally, I think BGC has a lot of people posting things online. So there's new uh, core shack, sorry, that's our internet name, uh, news articles that are always being posted, uh, different Yammer sites that post. So people are really comfortable with posting things online for everybody to see, so that wasn't really something we had to jump over. Mm -hmm. Great. Great. Thank you so much, Thank ladies. You so, so we are we actually are. just running out of time. I really appreciate all your questions. You guys are super engaged today. Um, if anybody would like to learn more, um, we will be giving you some information at the end of the slides here. We also will be giving you the code for step two if you'd like to see the Internet Innovation Report. I think Rosa is just switching over the slide now. Yeah, and we're picking a winner today. So, would Clayton Wolchowie uh, please contact me? I will be sending you an email um, after the event. You have won a free report of the step two. Um, I'll be sending you the code for that. So, congratulations, Clayton. Uh, for everybody else, here's your 20% off promo code. Please use that and check out the report. There's lots of great examples. Uh, Step 2 did a wonderful job of compiling uh, some of really good internets this year. Right. Again, if you guys want to talk further about uh, Bonsai or speak to us more about internets, we'd love to help you develop a great solution. Uh, you can find us here in Vancouver. You can also give us a call. Our director of sales, Ben, would be happy to chat to you further regarding this. Uh, please email him at bens at bonsaiinternet.com. And again, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, ladies. You did a wonderful job. And we hope to see you at our next Bonsai webinar. We're looking at February and taking a little bit of time for Christmas. So thanks so much, guys. Merry Christmas and have a great new year.